in the middle of getting your loan, these are the things that you should not do. These are the things that come out of the woodwork. Gina, what comes out of the woodwork with your clients that they should not do? I had one recently. A client called me on a weekend. Oh, I'm so excited. We just got our furniture. And um, it's all being delivered to the house on the and day And how of much does that furniture cost? Well, they put themselves in debt and increased their debt to income ratio, which caused problems. So how much did that furniture cost? The though? furniture cost them. I think it was about seven thousand dollars. Oh my God! So it's like spending your money while you're trying to get before you're approved, yeah, before you're done, or really get your mortgage commitment. Bruce, what is a, one of the craziest things that your clients have done? And I'll give you an example of mine. To pre- you mean to prevent themselves from getting a loan in the end? Yeah, you are you? supreme lending. You uh-huh. are the, you know, you I, are I the I can't broker. even begin to tell you the crazy stuff that our clients have done. <laughs> so um, we've had people spend money that, you know, that they, they needed for transactions. They didn't know how much money they needed. We've had people go out and incur debt. And a lot of times it's not even about incurring debt. Like you're allowed to buy furniture. Right. But the challenge isn't always, even if you qualify, the challenge is, we have to wait for it to show up on credit. We have yeah. to validate the loan. We have to, va- and sometimes that could screw up a closing. So now you, you just that- slowed the exactly. process. Exactly. So it's you not know? as if it's an yeah. impassable well, I problem. Had, I had my client call me up, Netta. Oh my God, Netta, guess what? I just got a new job. I quit my old one. This pays $50,000 more a year. I quit. Now I'm even in, in, a, in better condition. No, you're not. You're going to march back in there, tell your boss to hire you again until you close on this house. And then you can move on. Because again, you need two years, right? Well, but I think the importance is communicating because you can, you can get a new job in the middle yeah. of transaction. But yeah. to your point, call. Call us, call your lender, find call out, communicate, let them know spend. what's going on call or before you make before a big decision, you spend. any big decision. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Call before you spend because the bank is not going to like that. Keep it neutral. Keep it chill. Plateau. Nothing is happening. I'm waiting to get my mortgage commitment for the bank to give me my money. And then you can go spend, but spend responsibly. Just don't do it while you're getting your commitment. Stop. Do nothing. Don't go on vacation. Don't don't buy a new car. Don't quit your job. Don't. That's not good. 